Hello everyone, I'd like to thank you so much for taking the time to watch our short video on the products we're currently recommending that our patients use for their oral home health care system. This is Dr. Anthony Markwitz. The details of this presentation can be found at our website at www.amdds.com. It's very important that you follow a good home care program to maintain dental health. It's also very important that you maintain a good oral home health care program to maintain total body health. The current research is just showing over and over again that oral health affects total body health. The system that I'm going to talk about now, we feel at this point gives you the best chance of maintaining the best home health. In the morning when you wake up, first thing we'd like you to do when you're going to start doing your oral home health care program is floss your teeth. So get a good dental floss. This is Glide. You can get whatever works best for you, whether it be waxed, unwaxed. Go ahead and floss your teeth well. After you're through flossing your teeth, it's best if you use an oral irrigator. I personally like the Air Floss. The link can be found on our website. Um, it holds about an ounce and a half of an irrigating solution, and I like to use the closest um, irrigating solution at this point in time. I go ahead and I irrigate um, all of my teeth. It takes about 90 seconds to do my entire mouth. If you would rather use a water pick, um, dilute the solution, whether it be the closest or a different mouth rinse, about 1 to 10 um, and put that in your oral irrigator. It's best if you use a mechanical toothbrush. I like the Oral-B. Um, many people like the Sonicare. That's fine. It's been found that an electric toothbrush will remove about 60% more plaque than will a manual toothbrush. Um, if you're still using a manual toothbrush, make sure that you change it out regularly so that you're getting the most effect out of it. Once the bristles start to splay, um, they no longer clean very well. After brushing for about two minutes, and I'm currently using the closest toothpaste with fluoride, then I go ahead and I rinse for 30 seconds with the closest mouth rinse. Closest mouth rinse is a little different than Crest Pro Health or Listerine. It has no alcohol in it, as does the Crest Pro Health. Um, but its major component for killing bacteria is chlorine dioxide. Uh, it's a safe antimicrobial, it kills about 99% of the bacteria in your mouth in about 10 seconds. Um, the other real strong benefit of Closis is that it also will dissolve the sulfur compounds produced by the bacteria that cause bad breath. So a 30 second rinse with a gargle will help remove a lot of those sulfur compounds that have been created in your mouth that are causing bad breath. That helps a lot. That's my morning program. During the course of the day, it's been found that Spry, not Spry, Xylitol, uh, which one of the brands is Spry, um, xylitol is a sugar, and we have details on our website about that, um, which does not cause cavities. Actually, it helps kill the bad bacteria in your mouth. Um, it's been recommended these days that we consume about 4 to 6 grams of xylitol per day to help improve our saliva and our oral health. It will reduce the bacteria in your mouth, and it will help your inflammation in your gums and things heal much, much more readily than without it. Um, once again, I have a link to some of those products on our website. Um, in the evening, I have a slightly different routine that we recommend you follow. Um, floss, oral irrigate with the closest, brush with a fluoride toothpaste. Then what I will do is I'll recommend a rinse of either Listerine or Crest Pro Health. Why do we recommend a different irrigant at that point, a different, a different mouth rinse? The reason is, is that I said that closest kills 99% of the bacteria, not everything. So it's good to use two different types. My primary one is the closest and the backup one that I like currently for myself is the Crest Pro Health. At night then, before you're ready to go to bed, um, rinse out your mouth, make everything feel fresh, and then either use a fluoride rinse or um, I like at this point what we're recommending for most of our patients is the MI Pace Plus, uh, which offers quite a bit of fluoride protection. If you go ahead and you follow this program, you're giving yourself a very good chance of reducing the bacterial count in your mouth, of improving your salivary flow and improving the buffering action of the saliva, and also of changing the colonies of bacteria that actually survive in your mouth. Um, there are both good bacteria and bad bacteria that live in your mouth, and the purpose of this plan is to try and reduce the number of bad bacteria and improve the number of good bacteria. Once again, thank you so much for watching our video. Um, check us out on our website at www.amdds.com.